This question is impossible. No cheating! Which of the following hands could be an engineer's hand? I'm drinking while I take my test. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. While you're here, please subscribe. I'm here with two lovely ladies today. This is Elise. This is Evelyn. You know at least by now. Last time you guys saw at least on my channel, we had just tried the weirdest and worst burger of our lives. Oh, um, gross. But Evelyn, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Evelyn. I live and work in Beijing and I have my own YouTube channel called Tapioca Press, so feel free to go over there. Evelyn also makes Beijing's best vegan cookies. It's soft. It's, yeah, it's, it's a soft it's cookie. It's big. I've got a link below in the description if you're based in China and want to try them. Oh. Oh Elise, over to you. What are we doing today? So I am a public high school teacher and I teach ESL and today I am giving the ladies the good old Chinese ESL monthly test. This is a 90 minute, nine page test. For 11th graders. For 11th graders. I have heard that these tests tend to be quite difficult. Mm -hmm. I can testify to that. I have to do these tests every single month. I hated the English test because every single answer on these tests could have been the correct answer and every single time I do them it was like guesswork I've just opened up a page and there's one reading comprehension title what does the length of your fingers say about you I think that's uh, an indication that this is going to be one of the stranger tests I've taken in my life so this is how it's going to work we've got some individual tables here Elise is going to be here this is my desk for the day Evelyn over here at her desk students remember please write your names yes Miss Elise they call me Teacher Elise. <laughs> okay, it's Teacher Elise. Teacher Elise, okay. okay. Let's go. Section one is a paragraph about fitness and it requires you to fill in the blanks in the paragraph with the appropriate word. This section bases an assumption on the fact that you know a certain amount about fitness. Take this paragraph for example. We're talking about chin-ups here and this sentence asks, I blanked myself up without thinking. The possible answers are A pushed, B pulled, C raised and D carried. If you didn't know what a chin-up was, how would you know whether you're pushing, you're pulling, you're raising or you're carrying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Gotta be a gym rat to be good at English tests. <laughs> Fact is, this is indeed not easy. As Evelyn hinted earlier, many of the given options could be the right answer. No cheating! <laughs> just seeing if she got the same one. Is that cheating? Yes, that's <laughs> cheating. I've just been doing chin-ups. And then I'm telling the personal trainer that I have no blank left. I was confused with that one too. Are we just are we allowed to discuss answers <laughs> now during the test? I have no exactly. confidence left. Yeah. I, I have, have no, no breath left. I can't breathe. It's hard. I have okay. no strength left. This I have no is, faith. This is how this you two and I think differently. When I look at look at an exam, I don't think what could be the right answer. I think instead, what do the teachers want to be right? So Faith, I'm gonna go for D. What do you go for? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna read you this sentence and is it sexual or not? You be the judge. I told him it was all I had. So he stepped up behind me and pushed oh. me for a third and fourth pull. Oh. It felt so good. <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but you can fill in the blanks there. At this point, I should probably add that I am 50 years old and female. And da, 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 female! What? You can do a pull up, you old bitch! Like, so far, so good. We're on nine minutes. Um, so, averaging one and a half minutes per <laughs> fill in the blanks. For you. You Amy. always finish. Evelyn over here is like. The first two sections. I'm drinking while I take my test. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Eventually, I did make it to section two. I seem to have to take the verb that they give and conjugate. Is that even the right word? Conjugate? Yes, conjugate. Christmas was near. I walked happily. Oh, look at me go. Blank made me excited. Blank made me excited. I need to figure out what word goes here. The only word that I can think of is what. <laughs> What made me excited? Maybe it's what? Okay. I think I actually know what it should be grammatically. What? So these two are filming what they're doing and I'm kind of just writing crate like writing frantically because that's like what I'm used to when I take a test. I'm taking it so seriously. First page done, and I've come to the conclusion that this is really hard. Like for someone who I told you. isn't native English speaker, this yeah. would be impossible. It gets harder. Where'd you get the reading comprehension? Here we go. Reading comprehension. What does the length of your fingers say about you? I'm curious to know. Okay, long ring finger, sweet talker, 
longer index finger. The overconfident one. Index and ring finger are the same like the peacemaker. Well, the length of my finger say that I'm a bad bitch and I don't need to take a test to tell me that. <laughs> the ring finger oh. is longer than your index finger. <laughs> research showed, what kind of research? Show me the peer reviewed papers. First question under this uh, reading comprehension, which of I the swear. following hands could be an engineer's hand? <laughs> so were they basing engineer employment services upon finger sizes these days? This question here made me chuckle. It says, we can learn from this passage that the author is A, very charming and helpful, blah, 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 we'll get ourselves to D, often takes silly tests on Facebook. Oh my gosh, I had to giggle thinking about anyone who actually thought D was the right answer. I know that it sounds like one of those silly tests. Okay, like, I guess. <laughs> Okay, on to the next section, which we all agreed was the hardest of all. In this section, you're supposed to pick um, one correct answer from these seven options to fill each blank in the article. Let me just read this sentence and you let me know how many of these words that you would know in a second language. Okay. Ancient local coastal people in Northern Australia traded fish hooks along a chain of trading partners with people living 400 miles inland. Is it yeah. as hard as you remember? Is it easier than you remember? I think it's, it's a bit easier when I do it now um, because I'm less stressed about the outcome of the test. <laughs> like I don't care if I get a zero. So it seems like Evelyn and Amy have really given up on the last section. They told you they know I finished a long time ago. But teacher Elise is pushing through. Okay, so I finished with the hardest part and now I have to go back to the reading comprehension because I couldn't focus because Amy was too loud. Surely I'm not that loud. I've hit a bit of a roadblock. It's getting more, more and more sexual by the minute. What does the length of your finger say about you? Do you hear how loud she is? <laughs> I'd say my ring and my index are about the same size. So I guess that means I am the peacemaker. She's a peacemaker. <laughs> Also, there is a full-on wedding photo shoot happening behind us. How am I meant to take a test in these conditions? And I got a drink! No peace. I, I can't! I can't! This is why I'm the last to finish. But it's alright, I'm still gonna be on top, I'll tell you that. I also forgot to mention that I've got the answer sheet on my desk and if I wanted, I could just open it up and you, see you say that I'm cheating, that's cheating. 42 minutes later, we were done. We only did half the test, by the way. So we have finished our test. Since Elise here is our teacher, we're gonna be giving our papers to her to mark and then we're gonna see Pass who... them forward, students. Pass them forward. Are your names on here? Yes. yes. The date? No. Uh, what about your class number, your student number? How am I supposed to know it's you? Did you write your English name or your Chinese name? Because I can't read Chinese. So far, Evelyn has two incorrect answers. No. <laughs> <laughs> so first, what are your predictions? I think oh, I'm coming last. I think I'm coming last. <laughs> I will say, this was a difficult test. I know you studied hard. <laughs> I have faith in all of you. I know English is not easy. And we are all students, even myself. So I applaud you for doing the test, for finishing. Give yourself a pat on the back. Here are your results. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Evelyn, oh. 24, 25. Oh, you got full marks. <gasps> oh <Teacher>. my dear. <laughs> Sorry, you came last. Try harder, <laughs> smile all. <laughs> My one says, not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Elise? I lost four marks, which is quite interesting as a someone who speaks English. Well, you both lost a point for capitalization. What? <laughs> really? Yeah, yes. Yes, of course that matters. You have to make it very obvious that your W is capitalized or else you lose a mark because that's incorrect grammar. What? Yes. I lost a mark for not making it a capital yes. letter? 
Yes, oh, and so did you, oh, Evelyn. Yeah. This indeed has been a very educational experience. <laughs> definitely the funnest test I've ever done, but I will definitely be having nightmares tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this has brought back a lot of painful memories. <laughs> Trauma. Thank you ladies so much for joining me for today's video. Don't forget to follow Elise Lightyear on Instagram and YouTube. And tap here for press. That's it from us today, and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.